The long-running college football series returns to quench the summer release drought with NCAA Football 13. Does this year's release go for the end zone, or is EA just running out the clock? He goes downtown. It's picked off. New features have been added to this year's game, including animations for passing and catching, along with a reaction time mechanic that now slows down time so the QB can spot an open receiver or the back can find a hole. Most won't notice the animations, and reaction time comes off as gimmicky. And he's taken down. Heisman Challenge lets you fill the cleats of some of the greats like cover athlete Robert Griffin III and Barry Sanders. He's in another touchdown. Being able to use the players on any team is a nice addition, and downloadable content players like Tim Tebow are available for purchase. As before, Road to Glory, Rivalry Matches, and Dynasty Modes are all here, but haven't seen much attention. The biggest problem with NCAA Football 13 is that EA hasn't done enough to change the game on the field. The game looks just like the previous titles, now with some dated graphics and some rather odd behavior from players. When Heisman players and new animations are the bullet points in the back of the box, it's hard to justify this game at a full price if you have any of the previous titles. College football fans will get the same enjoyment that they get from the series every year. But this late into the game, fans are ready and deserve a new playbook from EA. We give NCAA Football 13 a 2 out of 5. And that should do it. I'm Cody Crouch. Game on.